So today we're going to be looking at finding the cos using the cosine rule to find angles. So as I said about the side rule, it's different because this time you have three sides and one angle to work with. And, and when we're using it to find the angle, the angle is the unknown, which means we have to have all the other three sides. So in the triangle, we're going to have A missing, but have the other three sides there. So 6, 8, 12, something like that. Because we've got those three sides, we can label it however we like. So because the formula is written as cosine A, we'll stick with that. So A is opposite, and it doesn't matter which of the other two. So yesterday with the cosine rule, we had A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine A. This time, we're going to have it as cosine A. So you'll see on your formula sheet, it's written as cosine A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared divided by 2 times B times C. So it's really quite long-winded, and you have to be careful when you're going through to get everything in the right place. It's really important that that one is A. Okay? The other two doesn't really matter. So either way around. So when we substitute in, we get 6 squared plus 8 squared minus 12 squared divided by 2 times 6 times 8. So because we're going to try and do it all on our calculator in one go, we want to push, put a bracket around this and put an equals after we've done that one. So we're going to write into our calculator. 6 squared plus 8 squared minus 12 squared equals divided by bracket 2 times 6 times 8 close bracket equals negative 0 0.45833 negative 0 0.45833 Three, three. And then you're going to inverse cosine it. So cosine equals cos to the negative 1 of answer equals, yes, you can see this is my room, but that's okay. So shift cosine shift answer equals not that. So again, I haven't set my calculator up to be in degrees. So, shift, cosine, shift, answer. Okay. I'll use answer now. Because I've got another one. Negative 0 0.45833. 117.3 degrees. 117.3 degrees. So that means my picture doesn't really look very good because that's an obtuse angle. So therefore the angle, and you can see that because that's 12. So it actually looks more like 8, 6, 12, 8. All right? So that's more what it looks like really. Okay, so you have to make sure that you're using this formula off your formula sheet. Make sure you copy it down correctly. Okay, secret is must use that one opposite to be A squared. Otherwise, you can label the other two whichever way you like. Put it in, push equals, divided by, bracket, two times two, do, do, bracket. Get that number, second function, answer equals. Make sure your calculator is in degrees. All right? So that's what we're doing today.